Hello, how are you? My name is Aisha, and today I would like to speak about this 24-year-old man that was charged with rape after impregnating a 12-year-old child. So, <sighs> this happened in Oklahoma. This is really screwed up story. This is really disturbing. And... I'm just really disgusted by this. I'm saddened by this more because I feel like a child was coerced into a relationship. No matter what this article says, we don't know how this child feels and we just have to keep remembering that she is a child. <laughs> this is not a grown woman that this happened to. This is a child. So regardless to the words of this article, and it has a, like a number of mistakes, just... Keep in mind, this is a child. So here we go. 24-year-old Oklahoma man charged with rape after 12-year-old child gives birth. Juan Miranda Jara, Tulsa, Oklahoma, 24-year-old man charged with rape after 12-year-old child he described as his girlfriend gives birth at hospital. A 24-year-old Oklahoma man was charged with first-degree rape after having brought a 12-year-old pregnant girl who he described as his girlfriend to hospital to give birth to their baby last week. So this article is actually from July 21st, 2021. Officers were called to Hillcrest Medical Center for a report of a potential rape involving a 12-year-old in labor on July 14th, according to the Tulsa Police Department. During questioning, Juan Miranda Jara, 24, allegedly admitted to police being in a relationship with the child since October 2020 and having impregnated the victim. Police said Miranda Jara proudly told them he was the father of the baby girl his girlfriend was about to deliver and seemed confused as to why officers were called to the hospital. They just, or they walked in just like any other couple would, excited to deliver their newborn child. So I feel like if she's having a baby at 12, like, I don't know, you know, when she conceived and all that, but for me, it feels like she was in a sexual relationship with him at at least 11. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, oh God, this is such a disgusting, what, whether they look happy or not, this is a minor. So that's why they bleeped out her face. You know, um, I just, let me keep reading. Bean added that the expecting couple thought the situation was kind of fine and did not see anything wrong with it. The man was observed acting unsure as to why police were even getting involved. The age of consent in Oklahoma is 16 years old. Officers believe Miranda Jara was fully expecting to go home with his child girlfriend and newborn baby later that day as if everything was perfectly legal. Despite her young age, the 12-year-old delivered a healthy baby daughter and was later released from the hospital, but without her boyfriend. The, 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 I don't care if that's not her boyfriend. I'm sorry. He's 24. He's twice her age. That's It's not going down like that. That's not her boyfriend. What the hell is going on? That's why I keep telling you guys to keep in mind that's why i said at the beginning keep in mind the words because this is oh, fuck that's some predator type shit that's some predator type shit <sighs> miranda jara was arrested on a charge of first degree rape but police said he could face additional counts related to the underage pregnancy police have not said how miranda jara first came in into contact with the young girl, why she was allowed to have a sexual relationship with a man twice her age, and how the girl who was old enough to be a fifth or sixth school grader 
was able to carry a baby to full term without anyone reporting the pregnancy to the authorities. We know there are many people in the community who are shocked by this, grossed out by this, disturbed by this, having questions, a whole range of emotions. But in time, we will be able to give the community the answers they want. Stop. The community does not need any freaking answers. No more information on this subject. This is not their business. That little young girl has to go through a lot from here on out. I'm pretty sure the community ain't going to step in and say, hey, do you need our help? What the hell does the community have to do with it? Her and her family got to deal with this. And um, if her family was okay with this, then they need to get some charges dropped on their heads as well because that's that fuck shit right there. And we don't have time for that fuck shit. That's, this is nasty. We just don't have all the answers right now to give them. They don't need shit. And we don't want to compromise the investigation that's still happening and really just now getting started. Social media posts suggest that some of Miranda Jara's relatives had been aware of his relationship with the minor and seemingly had approved of it. They need charges dropped on them too. On his Facebook page, which has since been deleted, Miranda Jara openly stated that he was in a relationship with the underage girl and shared photos from their recent baby shower. In one image, the man is seen happily posing with the pregnant 12-year-old wearing a floral dress and a festive sash with pink and gold balloons and a cupcake tower in the background. Miranda Jara remained jailed uh, as of Wednesday with a $50,000 bond. The man is due back in court on August 26th, where he could potentially face more charges for the underage pregnancy, depending on what investigators find. I don't know why we're talking about what depending on what investigators find. What you know that's factual is that she is 12. You can go to her mother and father and you could check her age right there. You could go to her school, check her age right there. What's factual is that she was coerced into laying down with a whole grown man. And what's factual is that this whole grown ass nasty man decided to lay down with a child as if it was okay. And it was a grown woman. He got her pregnant. They waltzed into that hospital and he's arrested that all that shit's factual. So why do we need an investigation? Oh, because America does not real really have morals or values because as soon as you knew that a 24 year old was sleeping with a 12 year old, there's no reason for us to talk. There's no reason for us to really be in court for more than five minutes but there is a reason for somebody to get their ass beat or go to jail. It's as simple as that. If you were sleeping with my 12-year-old, first of all, you would not get consent. And if your 24-year-old old-looking ass came to my house asking for consent, you would get these hands and some bullets. Want to know why? Because you deserve that shit, you fucking pedophile. And what we're not going to do is believe that you're in love with my 12-year-old and that my 12-year-old should just walk into a meadow with you, have sex, and be having a whole relationship with you. We're not doing any of that bullshit. I don't know what's going on in this world. I don't know what's going on with us. I don't know why these children can't be protected. But unfortunately, we're just letting the kids do them. YOLO, that's what we know. Have a good time. She. This was a child. This child did not have any guidance structure. And she sure didn't have... The people that she needed in her life to say, nah, son, this is not happening. You can't have my child. I don't know. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I thank you so much for listening. Bye.